Hey, this is FC, and you're listening to WBCA 102.9 FM, Boston. This is my song, The Pill, off of my debut EP, Girlhood. I was okay in high school, but that all changed when I took the pill. Wanted to be a grown up, but all it did was make me shrill. I was a theater kid, but I just played strippers and drama queens. And I never talked about how it hurt, but now I'm coming clean. I used to wonder what it would be like to be on TV. Cause maybe then the senior I liked would finally notice me And I used to want to date anybody that made eye contact with me Just a few seconds already imagined how great our lives could be But I started changing before everyone else Happened so fast didn't even know myself Sometimes I wish I could go back, tell her Looking back at it, none of it mattered No, none of it mattered I didn't spend enough time alone to find out who I am I spent half the day just playing a role or being in a band I still haven't got a grip on reality, even though I try. But that's okay, I like it that way, and I guess I'm doing fine. But I started changing before everyone else. Happened so fast, didn't even know myself. Sometimes I wish I could go back, tell her, looking back at it, none of it mattered. I started changing before everyone else Happened so fast, didn't even know myself Sometimes I wish I could go back, tell her Looking back at it, none of it mattered Long drives after class Hoping we were more than friends Memories play again in my head Even good things have to end That was a great take. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> Cut the check. <laughs> You're listening to WBCA 102.9 FM, Boston's community radio station. My name is Emily, and I have FC here with me today. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's been very fun. <laughs> so you've been doing a lot of very cool stuff recently, I'm noticing. Yes, I'm glad it appears that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> you just opened for Austin Weber. I did. How was yes. That? So that was at the Rockwell Theater in Somerville, and I opened for him along with May Simones, who is a very cool artist from Berkeley. Um, it was just an awesome crowd, awesome set, um, and it was my first show since December because I had been gigging a lot last semester, which was really cool to promote the EP. Um, but this is like my first show since then, and I had an entirely new band of like all femme musicians, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now. Mm -hmm. um, and it was great. I just had such a fun time up there, and my friends came and stuff. So it was really cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask you about your new band that's all femmes. Like, yes. What, can you tell me more about it? So uh, last semester I was playing with like a completely like all guy band, and they were great. Like, I really loved them, and they came at a time when I really needed them because I had like all these gig opportunities that were lining up. And we played, I think, four or five gigs last semester, um, opening for Samia and Evan McIntosh, which were both amazing experiences. And then being on a few um, lineups with like just like other bands and stuff. So that was cool. So, yeah. But then I just like put out on Instagram like, hey, I'm looking for like female or like non-binary musicians um, to play a few gigs coming up in April. And then slowly but surely the replies came in. But yeah, we had some rehearsals, had our first show, and then we have a few more at the end of April and some in May. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so it was like important to you to have a female or non-binary yeah. band. 
everything I do, like I want to make my opportunities like opportunities for other people as well, because it's no like secret that like the music industry, especially the DIY scene is very much like white guys. Um, And when I was like just starting out, it was really difficult for me to like feel confident to put myself out there because I didn't know that there was going to be like if there was going to be a safety net of like femmes or like POC musicians um, or just like people who are interested in music to like be there to advocate for me on the other side. So, you know, I kind of had to do some like grunt work and, you know, get through it myself with the help of some friends who are more familiar with the DIY scene. Um, But then when I felt more confident and, you know, walking into a room and asking for what I needed, then um, I was like, hey, like, I'd love to start like a new band with maybe some people who don't have as much experience playing live, but are looking for that. Um, so yeah, it was just big on like the opportunities that I have. I want to make sure that like, I can like, you know, pull the homies up with me and, um, just spread the wealth in that way. And it was really great. Cause like all the girls in the group were like really, um, like grateful and like really excited and care a lot about it. And I think it's just made like a really cool and really loving like musical environment which is everything to me i like love in everything Aww. um so yeah that's so yeah. sweet no it is <laughs> like i really i really do and like one of the first things that i said like at the be- at our first like band meeting was like no negative self talk like that's mm-hmm. like when you step in these doors like i don't even want to hear like a single self deprecating comment just to like kind of practice that because there's going to be so many people out there who are going to like do that for you So it's like, let's in this space at least try to be like the one person who is going to like root for us at all times. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I Um, love that. So I want to hear more about girlhood. Yes. And I'm curious about the like star in girl. Yes. Would you talk about that a little bit? I love catching people up on my lore. (laughs) Um, So girlhood is my debut EP that I dropped back in October, October 29th, 2021. Um, and it's been a project that I didn't even know that I'd been preparing for, like, since I started releasing music, but I remember when I dropped my first single, Contact, in high school, I was like, oh, I want to drop an EP, I want to drop an EP, I want to drop an EP, um, and it wasn't until, like, I lived alone for the first time last year when, like, the song started coming out, like, the project started to form, and I was doing a lot more introspective work, because I was spending so much time alone and not really going outside, because, like, COVID, Mm -hmm. um, So I just had a lot of alone time to reflect and like figure myself out and slowly but surely these songs started, you know, forming and I was working with um, Lexim, who's my producer, Um, and the songs came out, but it wasn't until about like the third or fourth song, like Vitamins, when I wrote that, when I was like, okay, there's a theme here. Um, And I I don't remember... I don't know if I like specifically remember when I was like girlhood is the name, <laughs> but there was a specific moment where I was like the name is girlhood and it specifically has to have like an asterisk um, because it's about like my girlhood, like teenagehood going to high school. Um, but I currently use like they them pronouns and I do identify as non-binary, but my experience growing up as like a black girl and a being a black woman is so it's just still so deeply intertwined into who I am as a person um so it's like that it's like it's about my girlhood from a place where I don't necessarily identify 100% with girlhood mm-hmm. so the asterisk kind of does it for me very cool yeah. I like that thank you <laughs> and you're from Boston like, I am local yes yeah very cool what has it been like getting to perform at the venues that you oh probably have been God. going to for so long <laughs> <laughs> it's been insane like I was you know writing my names on the walls of like these venues that I've been that I saw like punk shows and emo shows like in high school um being able to see what the venue looks like from the stage and it's been pretty surreal. Like I think I'm, I've hit, I've hit this point in my musical career where it's like, okay, this is real. This is happening, and like consistently things are changing. Like this. <laughs> like I was just talking to you earlier about how like I would watch like these kind of radio interviews and um, live performances. Like growing up of all my favorite bands, like 1975 and Paramore, like. Um, Rico Nasty, like, when she did her color studio, like, thing. So being able to do one of my own Mm -hmm. um, has been really, really awesome. So, yeah, 
it's just like the the barrier between my dream life and my actual life has like dissolved, which has been wow. pretty cool. That's so cool. Yeah. What are some things that you, some dreams that you haven't gotten to do yet? Yes. I'm curious. What are your like even mm. higher aspirations? I have big dreams. You're yeah. going to get sick of how much you hear of me (laughs) um but I also like love acting like I did like musical theater and theater growing up throughout high school and did like some short films with my friends and I even took like a um production for the entertainment industry class last semester which was really cool where we got to like create our own tv show do the pitch deck write some of the scripts create like a a real um So it just reinvigorated, like, my love for, like, movies and how they're made and stuff like that. So I definitely want to do, like, a sort of maybe, like, a movie musical transition. And then, like, I'm in, like, movies and television, um, stuff like that. So trying to get an EGOT. Wow. Very (laughs) cool. Yeah. You'll just be everywhere. No, everywhere. Like, yeah. yeah. But (laughs) not – but just because, like, I love creating and telling stories and I want to do it in any way that I can and – um also like being able to tell the stories that I wish were told for like little me growing yeah. up like I 100% would love to play like an ingenue type role um but you know like for little black girls to see that like romance and live laugh love is like also for them mm-hmm. um so it's definitely like very intentional and purposeful like it's like I have the plan it's just about the platform yeah so. Yeah. And you say something about that in the pill, right? Yes. Yeah. So there's a line and it goes, um, I was a theater kid, but I just played strippers and drama queens. So like being like a black girl and having like a powerhouse kind of voice or at least being like celebrated for that part of my voice. Um, I got like typecast sometimes in some roles. Like I played um, a lot of older people. Like I remember when I was, I think, 12 or 13 in middle school, like I sang songs for a review, but like from Dream Girls, which is like a 30, like woman in her like midlife um, talking about like adult concepts. <laughs> and I was doing that in front of like parents and family. <laughs> And, you know, like, no, like, you know, shame or, like, any, like, sort of disdain towards, like, theater teachers because they were working with, um, you know, little information just like me. But being the kid in that situation, like, wasn't always great because I couldn't see myself outside of those roles. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. But, you know, that's, again, why it's, like, all the more important for me to break out and do other things and help other people do those things as well. Um, Something I think a lot about with music videos, because that's something that, like, is I'm really excited for that part of my career when, like, I start putting out visual content um, because, like, the leading person can be, like, someone who is not as highlighted in the media. So, like, taking the opportunities that I have and making really intentional choices with them um, because it's not not just for me. It it is for me because it's my music, but it's also for everyone else who... Gets to listen to it and see it. That's so sweet. I love Thank how you. with everything you're saying, it's always not just about you. It's about other people too. Yeah. I feel like that's how I got in. That's like my musical practice is from someone who like grew up loving just like listening and discovering music. Before like streaming was a thing, I was like sitting at my, uh, you know, Dell desktop, like putting in the CD, watching the visual audio player that was just like these trippy visuals and just like sitting and listening to albums. Um, And it was also sharing music with my loved ones. Like my oldest sister and my aunt, who's like a young aunt, were both really influential, um, like music tastemakers for me. Like, so when my sister was going through like a breakup while I was still in middle school, like she was showing me Grimes and Tegan and Sarah's Heartthrob and John Bellion, um, Santa Gold, Janelle Monet, like all these really cool, like at the time, eclectic artists. And, you know, that's what I was like listening to growing up. And I got made fun of for it for a bit. But now I'm like, no, I was just like a cool indie kid before yeah. it was like a thing to be a cool indie kid. <laughs> So, yeah. That's awesome. You're but, way ahead of everyone. Yeah, so music is meant to be shared, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Lately, I've been feeling like my past self slowly peeling away. Feeling disconnected from the person that I was yesterday. That's okay. 
Is there someone out there who feels the shame? I'm constantly changing cause commitment's such a scary thing Starting to panic Still you call me A dynamic babe Can't remember The last time I was just okay Now I'm gripping My just to feel something Is it just me or do the memories fade all at once? Oh, because I'm having trouble remembering who I was I just woke up from a haze I didn't know what was under. And I get so damn triggered by old videos and pictures of me. They're reminders of the phases that I went through to get people to like me Now my mirrors become my worst enemy Now I'm stuck with Dysphoric crisis of identity So is it just me Or do the memories fade all at once Because I'm having trouble Just woke up from a haze I didn't know I was under. Is it just me, or do the memories fade all at once? I'm having trouble remembering who I was Oh, and the things I used to care about And the things I used to care about Yeah, the things I used to care about Seem so stupid now. Nice. The closing track of the EP is The Things I Used to Care About Seems So Stupid Now. And that song is about like looking back at who I was and how intense everything felt in high school and how permanent it felt and how that was like why I was in that mindset where I felt so low. But now I'm like, 
I'm in this place that I like didn't even couldn't even imagine myself in like 17 year old me is like freaking out right now because I'm like doing something for radio and that's going to be on television (laughs) and I'm talking to someone who's interviewing me about me who like likes my music and is like wants to know more like 17 year old me didn't exactly see me getting to this point Mm -hmm. so yeah it's like very much like a full circle very healing um kind of song that one and that was also it's a really special song to me because it was when I broke away from feeling like I had to be an R&B artist simply because I was black because that's what a lot of like black artists and musicians like feel pressure to go towards. I still love it. It's an amazing genre and like every once in a while I'll d- dip back into it. But I've really found my like creative home in like indie pop alternative like very contemplative kind of music. What do you want people to take away from your music? So specifically girlhood was a lot like it was a time when I was just like going back through what happened in high school and how I felt. My spirituality is a big part of my musical practice and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Um, I do a lot of like deep introspection that I think a lot of artists can relate to. Like you have to look at yourself and then, you know, regurgitate it in whatever like media, whether it's, you know, painting or music or poetry stuff like that you put it to this like art form and then it's sent out to other people and they can you know either take your meaning away from it or you leave enough space for them to put their own meaning into it as well but I think the biggest thing for me is like it's a lot of deep emotional labor so I'm able to like put this mirror up to people who are listening and be like hey if you're feeling this like it's okay because so do I Because I feel like that's what music was for me growing up because I listened to, like, My Chemical Romance, especially when I was in my, like, deep emo punk vibe. Um, Like, the reason why I connected with it was because they were putting all of these um, really tough feelings about, you know, like, um, depression and anxiety and feeling isolated, like, and wanting to scream and leave. And, like, that's just what I needed at that moment. Um... And it made it easier to go through because through that music, I didn't feel as alone. And the musical communities that were created, like at concerts or online, like that was big for me. So that's honestly just like what I want to do for other people. Mm -hmm. It's like I've gained so much from like all this music that I've had access to. And since I've been blessed with the ability to also create music and I keep working towards that, I'm like, okay, it's my turn to like, you know, offer it up. So I'm. it's just me giving back. That's why I say, like, adding to the musical paradigm so, like, whoever else needs it further down the line has it. Very nice. Do you know what's next for you? You're graduating soon. Yes! <laughs> this is a question that I've gotten asked so many times. Yeah. My professor literally just asked me, are you graduating in May? And I'm like, no. Um, I'm graduating in the fall, 2022. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, but I walk in May. So plans are still up in the air I think I definitely want to do a lot of traveling before I figure out where I want to settle down because um I don't know if Boston is where I want to stay because there's a lot of push for like you know New York or LA but London is also great and I have you know I want to go to Paris again and you know brush up on my French and really get fluent this time and not lose it (laughs) um but definitely like putting out more visual content working with other artists because I have a lot of really dope music friends who make music so creating with them um I've been working on a lot of demos so there's definitely new music coming out soon (laughs) for all you avid listeners and yeah then touring cool yeah touring 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 touring. that's my plan I'm just putting out into the universe so if there are any artists who are going on tour looking for a really cool indie pop alt punk everything artists to open for them (laughs) I'm your person I noticed you saying that like 17 year old you wouldn't believe where you are now but now you like has so many even more aspirations Mm. and goals do you feel more like sure of yourself that you can make them happen now than when you were younger 100% I had a really awesome conversation with my friend Asme who also makes great music um a few days ago where she was like you are the affirmation like you are the answer because we talk a lot about like you know the simulation and how time does not happen linearly like so 
if you believe in that, like, 19-year-old me who, like, or 17-year-old or me, but specifically in that moment, it was 19-year-old me who, like, had a mental breakdown and, like, just had a day where it was, like, I want to get better. Like, I don't want to keep doing this. Like, I just want to, like, start implementing healthier practices and I want to love myself and I want to believe in myself and do all these cool things that I've always wanted to do. Um, the person who, like, was sitting at their desk praying in that moment was praying for me essentially and not even like a like a like a religious way but in like a please god i beg mm -hmm. that someday i'll feel better and i'll be able to do what i love and be confident in it and i'm there Aww. so i'm so happy for you that's so amazing thank you and it's great that i have you know people to remind me of that because it's easy to forget mm -hmm. especially when things aren't going your way all the time but so I know that at some point, you know, 25-year-old F.C. is, like, you know, sitting there with their Grammy. <laughs> and it's like, told ya. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Awesome. Very excited <laughs> Thank to you. see that happen. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of things that I didn't do last week And I just can't seem to get myself to Oh, pick away at this growing list Of all the things that I said I would do as a kid But I was so hung up I don't want to live with the same old fears Can't keep anticipating for another ten years I got bitter, I want to get better I want to get better Did I really want it or feel like I had to have it? Why did I really want it at all? So seem to cope with the fear of being alone don't leave me alone no don't leave me alone never met myself so i tried to find me in somebody else look me in the eyes and tell me who am i because i don't want to live with the same old fears can't keep anticipating for another 10 years I got bitter I wanna get better I wanna get better So did I really want it or feel like I had to have it Why did I really want it at all Oh did I really want it or did I just feel like I had so bad without it it's okay it's okay it's okay i know 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 so did I really want it or feel like I had to have it? Why did I really want it at all? So did I really want it or feel like I had to have it? Why did I really want it at all? Did I want it at all? Thank you so much. I've been Epsi, and this is my friend Max on guitar, who also makes really cool music. So check him out.